hello everyone welcome to all of you so someone has requested me to make a video how to develop a new library and if you want to use that library in your test case what should be approach so this is this video is uh, for that purpose so here we are going to talk about that if you want to modify some library based on your problem definition so what should be your approach and if you want to use that library in your test case how you should go for that okay so there are many turbulence model thermophysical model dynamic mesh motion model has been present in open form and any kind of library you want to modify this the approach will be same uh, so here i am not going to modif do modification in some equation i am just going to show that how you can just uh, approach for the model uh, compilation and uh, uh, using that model in your test case that approach will be the uh, that approach will be discussed here so what we are going to learn here so how to modify your uh, any kind of library and how to add that library in test case these two aspects will be discussed here okay so let's go to the ubuntu terminal uh, here I have created one folder name as the library tutorial. So whatever we are going to discuss about the library modification and test case, I am just uh, going to modify here. So for that purpose, I will go to the home folder and go to the open form folder. And uh, here I will go to the open form directory and in the src folder, go to the turbulence model. So I am modifying the turbulence model and here are different kind of turbulence model is present here for incompressible flow you can refer to the incompressible directory for compressible flow you can refer to the incompressible directory but uh, the general turbulence models is present in this folder so suppose i am taking one one folder from here so for example i am copying this k omega model and i am going to paste here Okay. so I'm going to modify the k omega uh, model and just do a little modification I'm not going to do uh, measured modification so I've been putting here it is as my k omega model so this is the my k omega folder name I have changes and similarly I'm going to rename it as a my k omega dot h and similarly I'm going to rename it as a my k omega dot c so this modification we have done here my k omega now open this uh, my k omega in genie editor you can use any kind of editor i am using the genie editor so here i am going to just uh, replace the all the k omega with the my k omega okay so i am going to replace the k omega with the my k omega okay so uh, remember that while modify do the uh, naming modification just refer uh, just to see that what modification we were doing okay sometimes it happens that while you are modifying the name some dependency is lost okay so it is always advised that please uh, see what name you are do, uh, modifying here okay so that's why i will go to the do the replacement one by one here okay so again i will go to the find and again i replace here and similarly i will going to just find every k omega and i am going to the replace with the my k omega So this notification I'm going to do here also it will be my k omega. Okay. Similarly, we will go to the dot c folder and I will open in it in the genie again and again I am going to the replace it with the my k omega by finding each word. Okay. So I will replace every k omega with the my k omega just by finding and replacing it 
okay so i think every my q omega has been replaced here okay now here dot h folder should be also uh, that should be my k omega dot h so i have replaced all the k omega with the my k omega okay so i am not doing any modification here for that purpose i will create another video i'm just uh, showing that how modification is done and how if you want to compile that library that how you can do this okay so this is the first way first you have to just uh, name the directory name and then after renaming it you have to replace with the every keyword with the name of the key omega with the my key omega dot h so these two steps has been done now i want to do this library for the incompressible flow only i am not doing going to do for the compressible flow but similar approach you can follow for the compressible also okay so i will copy the make folder from the incompressible folder i mean i will re re replace it here okay so i have copied the make folder from the incompressible flow and i have placed it here similarly i will copy the dot c folder from here okay so i will copy this dot c folder from the turbulence transport model and i am going to replace it here okay and let's rename it as the my turbulence model dot c okay so i copied it here and i placed it here and i am just renaming it my turbulence transport model dot c now i will go to the up file folder and i am going to delete all these things because these things we don't want to recompile again okay it is all it has been already compiled in the okay, main directory of the open file so i just want to do modification for our model okay so all the model we don't need to pre-compile again okay so i just replaced that name of this this dot c so i've just i have just replaced that name of this dot c folder and i want to uh, compile this library in the user folder so i have replaced with the user here and uh, i am going to after compilation this library should be present like my turbulence transport models dot c so these things we have done now let's open the dot c folder and these things has been already compiled so i'm just going to replace all these things but we want to create the rs model okay so we want to create the rs model so we will modify the rs model from here okay so that compile my k omega dot h and make rss rs model with the name of the my k omega okay so these things we will we will told to the in the dot c folder okay so this will compile the my k omega dot h and after compilation it will create the rs model with the name of the my k omega these things we have done here now we will go to the file folder and we has been modified now we will go to the option folder and here uh, that uh, dot slash here since we are we, when we are compiling the dot make folder so it what this dot slash were doing it was doing that it is going to the folders backs okay so it was going to the two folder back and it is going to the turbulence model and from here it is taking the this ln include folder so this is the meaning of this line now since here when we go to the two folder back this folder is not present here in the case of while we are compiling here so that's why we have to do some modification here so what i i can do i can tell that go to the lib src of the open form and after going into the lib src go to the this turbulence model name 
so i am going to copy this turbulence model name so go to the turbulence model and then after that turbulence model go to the turbulence model list folder and then here from you can take the ln include this is this is saying this here okay now if you open the this turbulence models dot h here you are saying that this dot s folder is also present okay so for that purpose we have to also point it out that uh, dot s folder okay so here that dot post dot s folder we have to also give the name here okay so what i can do and uh, again so we i am just copying from here leave us src turbulence model till here i am copying the same okay this i have done if you see in ln include this folder has been already compiled so similar that's why we will just tell that go to the incompressible compressible go to the incompressible folder and just include the all the ln include it will just include the ln include so i am copying again from here So I've just copied here. So in ln include that dot s folder which we required here is already pre-compiled here. Okay. So that's why we are just including those things. Okay. Everything has been done for our compilation. So we can just open the terminal. Let me zoom in six and for compiling the library we use the wmap libso so it is compiling the library so this library has been compiled okay so remember we have we have not done any modification we have just just put the k omega model as our name okay so this library has been compiled in your user folder now let's uh, develop a test case if you want to use this model for your test case so from here we will go to the open full folder and tutorial folder and let's copy from simple form one test case known as the pitch daily so we want to use this uh, modified uh, turbulence model in our test case okay so just let's put here as a test and let's see that whether it is finding our library or not okay so i've just put of 6 and let's create the mess here sorry block mess so it has been mess has been created now i have just put here in terms of turbulence properties i have just put here test okay let's see that whether this tur this uh, our turbulence model is recogni recognized in this test case or not okay so if we run here simple form see so this these are the name it is suggested by compiler that these are the only possible RAS model is present in open form. Okay. So it is what are the models present uh, for turbulence or any other kind of physical properties. If you want to find here, you can just put here as a test or any random name. Okay and when you put here it is going to suggest that what are the models present here so you can see here that it is not showing our model okay so my k omega model is not showing here in while we are compiling here okay so if you so for that purpose we need to do some modification in the control dict file so in control dict you have to write here libs 
so what are the library you want to include and the name here so, so i want to include the lips my turbulent transport dot so and i will save this in control deck and we, again we are going to compile this with the test name okay now i will type web6 and when i type this my simple form here you can see here that it, it is suggesting the name my key omega okay earlier it was not suggesting here now it is suggesting the my key omega model okay so so this is important that if you want to use the library that that line should be present in the control dict folder okay now if i go to the constant folder and based on the suggestions by the compilation compiler i am going to put here this name that is the my k omega that i am going to put here now if i run the my simple form it is running the okay so it is solving the k omega model but now it is using the library which we have compiled using the my k omega model okay earlier earlier the compiler was not finding the my k omega now you can see here that it is solving that with that library only okay so this is the simple tutorial if you want to add any model or modify any model and use that model in your test case that's aspect we have discussed here now what should be approach if you want to add the any equation any different kind of uh, equation in your model that we will talk in the another tutorial uh, i hope this tutorial is helpful for you thanks to all of you for watching this video